Oh my goodness, guys. It is October. It's almost Halloween. Okay, let's set the story. It's almost Halloween. Halloween, there's a lot of pooky, pooky spunkin' stuff. Spooky pumpkin stuff, right? Spooky pumpkin Halloween. What is, what do we get for Hall of Heroes? We got a water pumpkin, Jack. What a coincidence. Are you seeing the crazy coincidence? Nobody saw this coming. I can't even believe it. Nobody saw this coming. Who saw this? You didn't see it coming. I didn't see it coming. Nobody saw this coming. That's sarcasm, by the way, guys. That's sarcasm. We all saw this coming. 80% of us saw this coming, okay? 80% because councils likes to do spooky little... They like to go along with the holidays, right? If it's Thanksgiving, they like to give us a lot of food when we summon. Also, if it's Easter, they like to give us a lot of food when we summon. Also, if it's Christmas, they like to give us a lot of food when we summon. Oh, no, no. No, that's just, that's just how summoning works, okay? That's just how summoning works. Anyway, uh, water... Jack-o-lantern Hall of Heroes. Most people realized this was gonna this was gonna be the Hall of Heroes. Or most people were like, yeah, it's probably gonna be the Hall of Heroes. Who's shocked? Nobody's shocked. They've done this before. They like to do the little spooky, spooky, spooky monsters. But some people pissed. They're like, oh, this is food. This is garbage monster. Um, most people realize it's a good monster. A lot of people use it. I actually, for the longest time, I didn't build a chilling. I was like, when he first came out, I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. He's all right, I guess. Didn't build him, didn't build him, didn't build him. And then like, as soon as I built him, I was like, yo, I use him all the time. I use him on all these, di any server that I have him available, I will use him. He is one of the most, it seems stupid. Like his skills do not seem like super exciting. He's not like Lucian, right? Lucian's like, oh, hey, we ignore his defense. But after you build him, after you start taking him into some things and you start to use him, you're like, yo, this guy really does work in a lot of places. And I think some people don't realize that, uh, I think, well, there's two different, there's two ty different types of people that are disappointed in this. One, one type of people is like, I already have a chilling, I already skilled up my chilling, he's not hard to skill up, I don't need skills for this, what do I even need to farm this Hall of Heroes for, right? And that's justified, that is actually justified. You're like, well, I don't want to build the other ones. Like, the wind one is Garbo. The light and the dark one's really, like, who's really using those? Um, and then the fire one. I actually think the fire one's not that bad. I use him on my uh, Asia server account. And he's actually, he's got multi-hits. He's got four different debuffs. So he's actually not that bad. I do use him in, in my Necro team, which I could show you. I actually showed it, like, a month ago. Never mind. So, like, I won't show you again, cause, but I, I showed you, like, a month ago. That I actually, he's not, he's not top tier, but... He's not bad for a few, for like a Necro and for like a, a R5 and stuff. So anyway, but chilling. Chilling, chilling, chilling. Solid unit. But I understand the people that are like, uh, I already have mine skilled up. What do I need a second one for? I started building a second one actually for Guild Siege. You can build a second one for, like one for Necro as like a DPS unit. If you don't have, a lot of people don't have the twins. People that have the twins are like, yeah, I don't, we're not going to use chilling in there. Because I have the twins and twins just do big DPS. But if you don't have the twins, chilling is great for Necro. I use chilling in my Necro team, right? Uh, also, what was I saying? Oh, oh, uh, some people are like, uh, or like, why, why to build two, right? You can build one for RTA. You can build one for Guild Siege. Build one like as a DPS unit for Necropolis. Build one like as a tanky bruiser. You really don't need uh, attack on slot four, in my opinion. As long as you have good speed, he'll do decent damage, and you don't have to go crazy high with the crit rate either, because. Uh, he's got a crit buff as well, so you can ruin him with speed crit damage HP, which is works fine. You can ruin him with speed defense HP, which is fine. Uh, he can be you don't even need him on violet. You could ruin him on like revenge because he's got a passive. If he revenges, he's gonna steal all the enemy's buffs. Uh, great unit against Theomars. Great unit against uh, Kamun. Great unit against Beta. Against Wusa. Against so many different things. I actually used him just yesterday in, uh, in, uh, RTA. Not even, I wasn't, actually, I think I was recording. I think I was recording that, actually. It was using him against a, I saw a Fire Paladin, I was like, this should be fun. So I used him against the Fire Paladin. I, and, and this brings me to the next point, is like, well, we have El Sharion now. Do we need chilling? And I would say they're both similar. They're both good. I would, I would possibly use one more in different spots than the other. Sometimes you need a defense breaker. Sometimes you want the buffs for your whole team. Sometimes chilling is better though. I feel like in Guild Siege, I'm more likely to use uh, chilling than El Sharion. And I feel like another thing is like El Sharion doesn't have skill ups. 
chilling is super easy to scope. So let's take a look at, um, where am I here? Chilling does not, he's, he's, he's very easy to scope. So let's see, where's my, I am so lost. I am so lost. Here we go. This is actually, this is my chilling. And if you don't see something wrong, you're like, he doesn't have that great stats. He's actually missing a rune. And I didn't realize he was missing a rune. And I was using him in Guild Siege. And he was performing just fine without... Was like, and that team did fine. One whatever. Not an issue. Have no idea when I took this rune off. But he's got speed here. He's got um, HP here. I think I had him on crit damage uh, or, or defense initially. I had him on like speed, defense, HP, super tanky. And then I switched him to uh, speed, crit damage, HP. What did I say? Speed, defense, HP, and then I switched him to speed, crit damage, HP? Yeah. Uh, but he was initially super, super duper tanky. Some people even have him on Swift Revenge. I've seen Make It A Bud, I believe, has him on uh, has him on Swift Revenge. I wouldn't really normally say, like, a high-level RTA player, like, what they have their things on. But it, it was shown in stream, right? And since he showed it in stream, I don't have any other data. I just giving you the information from uh, seeing it in stream. But yeah, it was uh, it was Swift Revenge on his chilling. And I like to take this in get the uh, against Theomars, against Kamun, against Garrow, against Beta. Uh, I like to take it against Wusa. I like to take it against, like, anything that has a buff. You guys, I think most people, like, most people get the idea of uh, of where he's good. But, uh, yeah, I mean, this is, this is just extra bonus. But, uh, to be honest, you don't need to go crazy trying to max him with all that stuff. He's he's almost just as good just based on his passive without skill ups. Like the second skill is nice, but you don't always you don't always need it. But where can chilling be used? Uh great for Guild War, Guild Siege, right? Even like Guild Siege cuz like oh, okay, four star towers. But to be honest, I've used chilling in so many regular Guild Wars, right? Above all these other Nat 5s. Um I also RTA, like I've mentioned as well, uh, which we'll get into in a second. Dragons. I feel like I never use him in Giants, but I feel like he actually might not be that bad in Giants. Because he'll sp he'll speed break, right? He'll speed buff your team, which is great. He'll crit buff your team, which gives them uh, more reliability for more damage. Uh, more turns overall, which is great. To give the opportunity to get that defense break off that your Giant gets, uh, that the Giant gets on you. Uh, also, he will slow the Giant. The important thing about the slow for the Giant is that uh, the... The giant and the towers are speed tuned, right? He's got the multi hit, so he's gonna take the revenges, which could be nice if he's uh, built a little bit tankier. Um, he's not the greatest unit for giants, but I think he could be usable anyway. Uh, but it's gonna mess up the speed tuning for the giant and the towers, so they can't uh, attack buff, defense break, and then one shot nuke you. Uh, so th for a few different reasons, I'll test them out more in giants if you guys want me to. But uh, great for necro though, great for dragons. People use them all the time for necro, all the time for dragons. Uh, and I think one of the reasons people are still going to keep using him is because Elsharn is so hard to get skills for because you have to either fuse Ifrits or use Devilmons. Chilling, super easy to get skills for, especially when you do- He's got no- there's like, you don't have the other family that you need to skill up. If you don't care about, if you're like, I already have a chilling, maybe you even have two. I know people that build two chillings, or more, um, even. But- if it, mostly for Guild Siege. More, any, any more than two chillings is for high level Guild Siege and that's, they're using them all the time. Um, so, or not all the time, they're, they're just getting used for that. But that's the only reason I could ever see more than two chillings. It's not like having like, ten Lucians. Well actually ten Lucians are for Guild Siege too. Never mind that, never mind that. But if you still, if you're like, eh, I don't even care about that, remember guys, um, you can go and you can trade in all your four stars here for some of these. Boom boom. So, not bad for that. Or maybe you'll get like, uh, isn't the light one kind of interesting to use? I think the light one might be kind of interesting to use. I built the dark one, I never use him. The wind one seems like kind of a dud. But, uh, the fire one's, the fire one's at least usable. If anyone has not, uh, taken a look at the fire one, I did a video. Like I said, I did a video like a month ago. But, uh, but yeah, I wouldn't use him in like Rift of Worlds necessarily, but Guild Wars, Guild Siege, RTA, uh, dragons and Acropolis, he shines. He shines. I would even put him at like a double S tier uh, Guild War Guild Siege unit, actually. At least Guild Siege. At least double double S tier Guild Siege unit. 
I can't even, I can't even begin to, to describe, like, it's just, like, if he, you, he works with five runes on him, <laughs> and I didn't even know, it's like, he just works, he just, he's so easy to just, to, to work, and I, bef he's one of those units that people were like, yo, build this, build this, build this, and I'm like, eh, I'm not gonna build it, I don't care about this unit, I don't care about this unit, and then I built it, and I was like, oh, he's really good, okay, he's really good. Uh, but let's also take a look at, I want to take a look at, um, some tier lists. Hold on, hold on, I want to give you guys an idea. Where is this one? Okay, so we have several different RTA tier lists. Uh, Chilling, actually, well this is before El Sharion too, so I'm sure it maybe changed. But this is before El Sharion. This is Skit's uh, RTA tier list, if you guys haven't watched, uh, you can see Skit's gameplay in some RT, uh, some RTAs. Some of YDCB's RTA tournament things. Uh, Skit's a solid player though, it's not just like he's like, oh, a C1 player, and he's making a tier list. He's like, no, he's one of the, one of the better players. Uh, he values Chilling as the number one water 4 star for RTA. The number one most viable water 4 star. After that is a Zarya and Orion, and then nothing before, and then everything else is like B tier or lower. Um, so we've got that. We've got uh, Beat D. If you guys don't know who Beat D is, um, literally just look at the the RTA rankings and where you see Legend. Who got Legend? There's two Legends this uh, two Legends this season. Drama. Two Legends this season. But this is one of the guys that got Legend. He values uh, Chilling as an A unit, an A tier unit, which the only unit that he values as a four star, uh, water four star. Higher than that is Sonnet, which is kind of interesting because I see Chilling more than Sonnet uh, in RTA. And then we have, like I said as well, Make It A Bud, who's using Chilling. Uh, he's a G3 player as well. And then we have uh, Fua. Fua, Fua. Everyone knows who Fua is, right? And he values uh, Chilling as an A tier unit. One of the better, uh, again, uh, we see Sonnet and we see Chilling, both A tier units. No other Water 4 stars higher than that. Actually, no other four stars at A plus tier. Interesting. I don't see. No, I don't see any other uh, any other four stars at all. So, the only four stars, four stars are A tier or below, and he values that as as much as he values like Triana, as much as he values like uh, what else? What are the four stars? Harmonia, Garrow. So, yeah. And like I said, I, I like sometimes you just maybe hold on. Did you just- did you catch what I said? Did you catch what I said? I was using Chilling in RTA. Also, I mentioned Chilling is missing room. Bagel, you literally brought Chilling into RTA. I wasn't even like- it wasn't like I lo I mean I lost the match. But it was like, just little things here and there. And Chilling's damage- If I stuck a sec- a sixth tier- a sixth rune on Chilling. You know what? <sighs> Bagel, big bagel face bomb. <sighs> I'm I'm now realizing the error. Like I could have, I was wondering why things weren't dying. I really, I was like, why, why can I not kill this Laika? It's not, he didn't die. He should have died. Why didn't I do? <laughs> no, no slot four rune. No slot four rune. Okay, I don't know where that rune went. Now I'm curious, where did that rune go? What did I put that rune on? I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna beat myself up about that. I shouldn't have lost that match now, and now I don't feel bad. I mean, now I feel worse. I feel bad in a different way. Hold on. I feel stupid. Justifiably. Justified feeling stupid when you are stupid. But. Anyway. Uh, that's it for chilling. I'm gonna do, uh, I'll do, maybe I'll do, uh, another ch Yeah, we'll do some more chilling stuff. We'll do some more. Spooky chilling stuff uh, tomorrow or whatever or the next day. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know he's kind of a bummer considering we got El Shar. Like most people built him, no one really wants to build like a fleet of chillings. But he's a good unit overall, right? He's he's a, he's a really solid unit. Just a lot of people have him, and then people have El Sharon. So El Sharon's the hype now. But uh, man, there's still some situations where I would take chilling over to uh, over El Sharon. So it's really on a case by case basis. So anyway, guys, uh, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you, as always, in the next one. Have a spooky Thanksgiving Hall of Heroes time, or whatever. <laughs>